Hi everyone, so in this video I'll show you how to factorize trinomials, or quadratics, as they're also known. So a trinomial is basically, basically an expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, that just means numbers, and x is the variable. So for example, 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, that would be an example of a trinomial. And there's actually two types of trinomials as far as factorization or factoring is concerned. So, so the first type is where a is 1. So if you put 1 in place of a, that will become 1x squared, which is the same as x squared. So for example, x squared plus 5x plus 6, that's an example of this type of trinomial. And the other type is where a isn't 1. So it's another number that isn't 1. For example, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. That's an example of the second type of trinomial. So we'll start by factorizing these types of trinomials, because they're actually easier to factorize than these ones. And then we'll move on to factorizing these types. Okay, so for example, factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to give this term, including the sign. So it would be positive 6. And they add to give the middle term, which is positive 5. So which two numbers multiply to give 6? and add to give five. Well, I can see that two times three is six and two plus three is five. So the numbers we're looking for are two and three. And then you would just go ahead and open two brackets and you would put X in each one. And then you would just put the numbers we've just found. So plus two plus three. And that would be the factorization of this trinomial. And if you expand this, so if you wanted to check that your answer is correct, you can just expand this to see if it gives you the original trinomial. So that would just be x times x, which is x squared, and then x times 3, which is 3x, and then 2 times x, and then 2 times 3. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And that would simplify to give x squared plus 5x plus 6, which is indeed the original trinomial. So this is just a way of checking. OK, let's try factorizing x squared minus 7x plus 12. So again, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 12 and add to give minus 7. So I can see that minus 3 times minus 4 is 12 because negative times negative is positive. And minus 3 plus minus 4 is minus 7. So the two numbers are minus 3 and minus 4. And then you would just go ahead and open your two brackets. And then you would put minus three in the first one, or you can put minus four first, doesn't really matter. And then you would put minus three in the other one. And that would be the factorization. Okay, let's do one more example. Factorize x squared plus five x minus six. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give negative six and add to give positive five. So I can see that six times minus one is minus six and six plus minus one 
is five because that would become six minus one. So the two numbers are six and minus one. And then the factorization would be x minus six, sorry, x plus six, and then x minus one. Okay, let's move on to the second type of trinomial. So for example, factorize 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And the method is actually different. That's why we did the other ones first, because it's easier to factorize the first type of trinomial. So you would start by multiplying the first and last coefficients. So 2 times 3, that would be 6. And then you would try to find two numbers that multiply to give the number we've just obtained, which is 6. And they have to add to give the middle number. So I can see that 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So the numbers we're looking for are 2 and 3. And then you would split the middle term into those numbers. So you basically write the 5x as 2x plus 3x. So the trinomial becomes this expression. And then you would just factorize each expression separately. So the first one would become 2x times x plus 1. And the second one is 3 times x plus 1. And then you would just treat this as a common factor. So you take it outside a bracket. And then you would just put the stuff that remains in the bracket. So it would be 2x plus 3. And this is very similar to when you're factorizing um, a common factor. So for example, if we just replace x plus 1 with y, that would become 2xy plus 3y. And then you can just take out the y from each term. So you just take it outside the bracket. And then you're left with 2x plus 3 inside the bracket. So we're just treating this as the common factor for this expression. It's exactly the same process as when you're factorizing these types of expressions. And that would be the factorization. And if you wanted to check your answer, you can, of course, expand that to see if it gives you the original trinomial. OK, let's do a few more examples. So factorize 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. And you can, of course, pause the video when I write these and try yourself and then press play to see the answer. So we're looking for two numbers. Actually, we start by multiplying these numbers. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to give 6 and add to give minus 7. So I can see that 6 minus 6 times minus 1 is 6, and minus 6 plus minus 1 is minus 7. So the two numbers are minus 6 and minus 1. And then you would just go ahead and split the middle term into those numbers. So the trinomial becomes 2x squared minus 6x minus x plus 3. And then you would factorize each expression. So the first one becomes 2x times x minus 3. And the second one becomes minus x minus 3. And if you find that hard to see, by the way, just keep in mind that it would always be the same bracket as the first term. So the bracket we got is x minus 3. And then you just have to decide what the sign would be in front of that bracket for the second term. And it sometimes has a coefficient as well. Um, so 
obviously it would have to be a minus in this case because we've got minus x over here. Um, so you'd have to have a minus outside the bracket to get the minus x term. And then you just factorize it as before. So we just treat this as a common factor. So we take it outside a bracket and then we put what's left inside the bracket. So two x minus one. Okay, factorize eight x squared plus 10 x minus three. So eight times minus three is minus 24. And then we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give minus 24. Remember, it's always this number for these types of trinomials, not the last number in the trinomial. And they add to give the middle term in the trinomial. So I can see that 12 times minus two is minus 24. And 12 plus minus 2 is 10. Then we split the middle term into those numbers. So it becomes 8x squared plus 12x minus 2x minus 3. And that factorizes to give 4x, 2x plus 3, minus 2x plus 3. And that becomes 2x plus 3 times 4x minus 1. Okay, let's do one more example. Factorize 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. So we start by multiplying the first and last numbers, as usual. And then we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give minus 24 and add to give minus 2. So I can see that 6 minus 6 times 4 is minus 24, and minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. So the quadratic becomes 3x squared minus 6x plus 4x minus 8. And that factorizes to give 3x times x minus 2 plus 4x minus 2. And then we just take out the common factor, and we're left with 3x plus 4 in the bracket.